Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Playwright Tennessee Williams is the man who created all the stories we're bringing you tonight, which means there's a great deal of steamy southern passion and angst swirling around us. Hey, you know what they say, write about what you know. And indeed, Mr. Williams, born not in Tennessee, but in Mississippi, led a very colorful life. Numerous books have been written about that. Well, our next Tennessee Williams tale comes from a one-act play, which was part of a program made up of a pair of one-actors presented under the generic title Garden Day. One of those plays, titled Suddenly Last Summer, was expanded into this next feature film. And the film stars Elizabeth Taylor, Katherine Hepburn, and Montgomery Clift. Now, when it was released in 1959, it was considered a very daring look at the dark side of human nature, even though the screenplay by Tennessee Williams and Gore Vidal was, by necessity, considerably toned down from the original off-Broadway play. Katherine Hepburn plays a powerful monarch whose son Sebastian is died recently under very mysterious circumstances. Elizabeth Taylor is the woman's niece, and at the time of Sebastian's death, the niece was traveling with them, and she's the only one who really knows what happened suddenly last summer to Sebastian. And that knowledge seems to be driving her mad. Montgomery Clift is a doctor who's been brought in by the matriarch to sort it all out, even if it means performing a lobotomy on the niece so she'll forget what she knows. It's indeed a film which takes us into Tennessee Williams' territory, and some didn't like that, the steaminess of it all, including Katherine Hepburn, as it turned out, who had said grew to be furious she ever let herself be involved in this film. It was a tough film to make for everybody. Montgomery Clift was seriously ill at the time, going through a very difficult patch, and only in the film because Elizabeth Taylor insisted he be cast in it, because at that time other producers wouldn't hire him, and he did indeed need a job. Complicated project, which in the end gave us an extremely interesting, very provocative film. Here it is from 1959, directed by Joseph Mankiewicz, Suddenly Last Summer. <laughs> 